Hello everyone, you all are welcome once again to my YouTube channel, Your Love God Reaction TV, bringing men closer to the Word of God. And this channel brings you all gospel J's all around the world, and this channel also gives you all reaction messages from my dear man of God, Reverend the Chris Oyakilomi. And if this is your first time coming across this channel, and you don't want to miss videos like this, I will post it on this channel. Kindly do hit the subscribe button and also turn on the notification bell so I'll be the first to get notified whenever we post a video. So, right on today's video, I'm right here with the two great man of God in the person of the highly esteemed man of God, Pep Pastor Jodo Lawa and um, the prophet Hubert Angel. And these two great men of God will be talking about prayers. And as a Christian, you really need to pay close attention to this uh, video as these two great men of God will be talking about prayer, talking about the right way to pray. So make sure that you pay close attention to this video and make sure that you watch this video to the very end. And please do not forget to share this video. It's very important. Do not forget to share this video for it to help us to share the gospel of Christ all around the world. And it also help this channel to grow. And if you have anything to tell us about this video, any testimony at all to tell us about this video, then do not forget to leave a comment on the comments section. Thank you for Thank you once again for watching and keep watching. Spiritual Father, Pastor Chris, when I get there, wake up at six and people already pray. Five. I pray in tongues for hours. But when I finish, I live by the faith of the Son of God. If you don't say, ah, I wish I pray long enough. Many pastors have taught us that we need to pray long enough before, the, before things can happen. Mm -mm. I know, I will tell you, when we come to prayer, we will tell you why we pray long enough. Not because of things will happen. We live by the faith of the Son of God. See, we live by the faith of the Son of God. I pray in tongues for hours. But when I finish, I live by the faith of the Son of God. Who loved me and gave himself for me. Why? If I don't do that, that's verse 20, Galatians 2 verse 20. In verse 21, he said, I do not frustrate the grace of God. When you start living by your own effort, you will frustrate the grace of God. But when you live by the faith of the Son of God, they say, I do not frustrate. I do not frustrate the grace of God. For if righteousness comes by the law, then Christ is dead in vain. So there are Christians who ask grace, but they are frustrating it. They are frustrated because they want to live by their effort. They say, of works? No. So when you are praying in tongues as young people, don't think you get results because you pray in tongues. That's not the purpose of praying in tongues. Bible says, He that speaketh in an unknown tongue, speaketh not unto men, but unto God. He said, I bet in the spirit, he speaketh mysteries. He said, He that speaketh in an unknown tongue, edify himself. That is the purpose of speaking in tongues. Charge himself, build himself, so that you can say, I live at the feet of the Son of God. You build yourself against every thought that says you are living by your works. You build yourself in the place of tongue so that you will not consider the senses. When challenges come your way, you respond spiritually. There are many prayer warriors in this city. Prayer warriors. And I don't know why they are warring in prayers. Prayer warriors. They, are, they say they are prayer warriors. And then when they finish praying, they they go to the people's house and finish their food. They are prayer warriors. Say so we have prayed, madam. Settle us. No. I live by the faith of the Son of God. Lift your beautiful hand before the Lord. Say, I live by the faith of the Son of God. This is so this is so important. What I'm showing you now is so important. Because many times young people want to feel big, feel proud. I've achieved a lot. You've not achieved anything. This is the achievement. Don't think you have done anything. Jesus did it. So Jesus is in your mouth. You talk about him. You tell people how much you love Jesus. He said, without me, you can do nothing. All right, my dearest family, there you have it. You know, I needed to lay this foundation from, you know, what Pastor Bearden said so that when you are listening to the man of God, Prophet Hubert Angel, you know why you need to pray. It's important you pray for long hours, but you need to have this mindset that, you know, Pastor 
you know that's what he's talked about so listen to the man of god prophet Jupiter angel as he shares you know his experience in christ embassy don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe watch this some of you are already tired just to the few minutes you're already tired imagine if we say we're going to do seven hour prayer look and angry the angry ones are already coming out an example <laughs> you, if you are weary in the day of trouble your strength is weak I go to my father's place my spiritual father pastor Chris when I get there and I and I wake up at 6 7 30 we have to be in church 7 there we have to be in church and people are already praying da, 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 da. Da, 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 five you'll be preaching until 5 p.m one hour break six we are back he preaches until 10 says everyone goes home except pastors and leaders stay we are sailing sailing means three hour prayer some of my own protocol have already registered that they are not going this year they don't know the dates I did not say deregistered. No. They said this year we have some things to tie up on the ground. Imagine fearing seven hours of prayer. They are, they are fearing three hours. And hours of word. I've gone with protocol that gets sick when we get there. We just get off the plane like this. Say, Papa, please pray for me. Then you know what they are trying to do. <laughs> the first time I said, let's go, everyone was like, I need to go. I need to go. Wake up. Uh -uh. We're in church. Hey. Another one. Ah. Hmm. One day, that prayer you are running away from, you will look for it. You will find it. But it will be far from your spirit because your spirit has not grown into it. Imagine if you say pray one hour and all your prayers have been 20 minutes. The longest you have ever done. 20 minutes. And 20 minutes after checking. One hour should be nothing. Jesus said these statements. Could you not watch with me? For an hour? That means according to the realm of the senses of Jesus, one hour is minimum. <laughs> Notice here, but when he says minimum, it's a lousy minimum. Hear this. And he cometh and findeth them sleeping. Say it unto Peter, Simon, sleepest thou? Could not thou watch even one hour? Like for your level, with your mediocrity in the level of prayer, one hour is supposed to be done by wimps in the spirit. One hour. Yours is a miracle. Father, in the name of Jesus, fire. <laughs> fire. You are that sword that will break when we get into war. I need people here. That's a man of God. You can rely on me. You can stand with me. I'll stand beside you. And we are going to push and push until something happens. If God comes here and says, I need five men. Five women. See, because when I said men, women don't raise their hands. Because I've already told you. Where you stand and say, I am going to push the walls of this altar. Ah, you're not. Get back to the previous script. All right. There you have it. And I believe you learned something from that video. And if this is your first time coming across this channel, and you don't want to miss videos like this, or post it on this channel, then kindly do hit the subscribe button and also turn on the notification bell so you'll be the first to get notified whenever we post a video. And please don't forget to share our videos for it to help us to share the gospel of Christ all around the world and it also helps this channel to grow.
Thanks for watching once again. And stay tuned till we see you next time. Love you. God bless you.